So I was researching chemicals that would put you to sleep. And that's when I got to the detergent suicide. Smoked the cigarette, went straight to the bathroom, dumped it all in, mixed it, and uh, kind of leaned down in, took a deep breath, and it, uh, it burned my nose. 5900 West 350 North at Country View Mobile Home Park on an attempted suicide. Tone time 418. Have a 22 year old subject, not sure exactly what's going on. I believe he may have possibly drank some chemicals. I remember the, uh, the police officer coming in after her. Uh, I remember hearing him cough. Information I've had to open both doors of this trailer, get it aired out. <laughs> a lot of people learn for hazmat the rule of thumb where you put your thumb up and you cover the hazmat scene. When you have a viable rescue, the rule of thumb is out the window. Squad, go ahead and start up here. PD saying patients inside unresponsive. Fire department's getting ready to pack up and we'll go inside. In this class, we'll go over actual case studies where victims were saved from quick thinking firefighters that donned appropriate gear and went in for the rescue. The uh, firefighters came in with their, their breathing tanks and, uh, and drug me out. Fire department already went in, got the patient out. Hi, my name is Phil Ambrose. I'm a fire captain in Southern California. Been doing hazmat since 1994. I also started hazmatnation.com. Dustin, have they been able to identify any of the chemicals? Negative, we don't know what we're dealing with. This guy smells of gas or some sort of a strong chemical smell. When it comes to rescue, Often we're told, call the hazmat team if, it's, if it involves chemicals. Unfortunately, hazmat teams might be 30, 40, an hour away. Our patient's stable right now. We're not gonna leave till you get here. Temp four, yeah, we're gotta be getting close. We need to decon, we may just do it right there. When the rescue is imminent, there might not be time to sit and wait for hazmat. The gray area will look not only at case studies, but your equipment, the laws and things you could take back to your companies and decide so this is something you think about and plan about. One thing is true about hazmat, the hazmat team is never first in. The hazmat team may rarely go in for a rescue. First in considerations on meth, BHO, chemical suicide, or even industrial hazmat often rely on those first due companies that might not be the hazmat team. In the gray area where rescue meets hazmat, we'll take a hard look at a difficult decision, and that's a rescue and a hazmat scenario.